Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to do a quick fix on this prop. As you can see, it's supposed to be a three blade. It's a two blade. <laughs> I broke one of those off. What happened was I think I hit the hit the motor. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay guys, so here's what I think happened. Looks like I'm going to have to be replacing some seals in that. Alright, so here's what I think happened. When I got this motor down, if the motor's turned that way, the gas motor's turned that way, as you can see there's plenty of room down there. But if the motor, if I forget and the motor's turned this way, well, I'm chopping up stuff. Mainly my prop. So, it's just it's so easy to forget to raise that motor up every time you want to use this trolling motor. Um, so, yeah, it's this operator error. It's my fault. But my buddy that I worked on his, um, Ryan, I worked on his um, pressure washers. He said he had one of these, and he'd bring it down. Well, he dropped it off this morning, he didn't even knock on the door, he just got out of the truck, brought it over, and sat it on the seat of the boat. So, I'm gonna get you on the stand, and let's see. Man, I gotta clean all this out again. <clears throat> That's all from gas fumes. Um, so, I gotta see if, uh, let's see if it works. See if it'll fit on there. Because I was gonna go with a two blade prop anyway. If you go with three blade prop, you get a little more speed. Two blade prop, you get a little more torque, a little more power. Well, seeing that we're on the rivers a lot, uh, I was gonna change it to a two blade anyhow for more torque, you know, for trolling around the rivers and stuff. So, you know, the current, uh, more power. Uh, you don't need speed. I mean, how fast are you gonna go on one of these, you know? Uh, but yeah, so let's get you on the stand. I'll show you how to change that. Quick fix, hopefully. Okay, so all we're going to do is take this little nut off of here. Wasn't very tight. Set this aside. This is real simple. Oh, and it's also got a crack in here. I'll show you in a second. Now be careful, don't lose that pin, because if you got this thing to the side, that pin will fall out. Looks like that pin's bent. Uh, I've had to straighten it before, so I'm going to straighten it again. I'm just going to lay it down on something and tap it with a hammer. But there's a crack. Can you see that crack right there where my finger is? So, yeah, I mean, it's been nicked up, and uh, it wasn't in the best shape when we got it. Um, I had to do some sanding here um, So I don't feel too bad about it But and this thing is really really flimsy see that see that given and this other one It's a pretty big prop, but it's really solid so Just see if it'll fit on first Sure enough does I don't think I'm gonna to have to this is the weedless wedge 2 this is supposed to help cut the weeds the way they're kind of tilted up there and then these little notches here that you see also helps cut the weeds this is exactly now these things are like but they're cheap like made like this like 15 bucks and I was going to order one online I seen a whole Minn Kota trolling motor at the uh, thrift store for 10 bucks and why I didn't buy it I don't know because if they would have had the prop sitting there for 10 bucks I would have bought it I didn't but it was the whole motor uh, I did not it had the controls the foot controls um, but it didn't have the foot controls you know what I mean it was that kind it took I think it was a 24 volt system but it wouldn't matter I probably could have made something made it made it work because you know Minn Kota <laughs> I love them 
Oh no, look at that. That's not going to fit in there. That's okay. Let's go see if I've got a nut. Now well, she's in the house, but anyway, let's go see if I got a nut that'll fit that. If not, I can probably chuck this up in the drill and file that around. I don't want to do that. And I'll, I'll keep this for an emergency because I've been using it just, you know, a little bit here and there to back up and stuff. But, okay, let me go see if I can get a, get a nut for that. Okay, so I found one here. Fits on there beautifully. Probably should have a washer on there, but I don't have a washer. A flat washer that'll fit down inside of here that'll go over top of that that nut or that bolt part of it the shaft let's make sure it's gonna all right feels pretty good let's check it out It sounds like it's rubbing a little bit. So, I'm gonna back this off and... I think that's a problem I had with that other one. It's kind of rubbing it. It'll actually rub itself in. It's not gonna really hurt anything, but... Kind of rubbing right there, right around here. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. I am going to go uh, put that on the. Uh, I'm going to rub some sandpaper around there, and. Uh, then I think it's going to be all right. Might put a little bit of grease on there. Eventually, grease will wash the water away, but or the water <laughs> will wash the water away. But I think it's going to be all right. It could be. Yeah, that pin's bent. You know what? Let me straighten that pin out. I might have just tightened it too tight because it should only be finger tight. So I'm going to go straighten this pin out. Yeah, that's what it was. I just tightened it up too tight. So, let me knock this pin out of here. Because remember, it was moving before, now it's not, so. Now I bent it the wrong way too far. No, it's fine. All right, so now, I'm gonna go straighten this pin out. I just won't put it on as tight. I'm gonna still look and see if I can find a washer that'll fit in there. Yeah, see that was bent like a like an S. <laughs> so I'm surprised it's still holding up. The first time I straightened it, because somebody hit something really hard with it at one time. Uh, I had trouble getting the prop off, and this was just bent that way, and it was bent this way. So let me go see if I can find a washer. I'm gonna straighten this out. All right, I think we're good to go now. Still not perfect, but never really was should be about right there I did find a little washer I'm just not going to tighten it as tight this time put a little washer in there I just don't like that there's not very many threads on that so I'm just going to do away with this washer I'm 
I mean, I use this motor, but not like, I think it's going to be alright for what I use it for. I may get some, I may put a little bit of Loctite on there, the removable blue kind. Still rubbing a little bit, but that'll wear itself through. There we go. I am going to put a little bit of grease on there though and let me see if I can find my Loctite I think I got some in there and we'll put a little bit of Loctite on here removable Loctite so that way it holds the nut on but you can still remove it you know what I mean so hang tight guys so I put a little bit of a little bit of grease around here I know guys it's not going to hurt the environment Calm down, two strokes run in there all the time and while they burn, gas and oil comes out the exhaust. I don't know if there's enough in this or if there's any. I don't think there's any. <laughs> this is medium. Nope. Okay. Well, alright. Just gonna have to keep an eye on it, I guess. Alright. Let's check it again, make sure. I think we're alright. Yeah, we're good all right guys there you go quick fix a little bit of modification there but I think we're going to be all right I don't think it's going to come loose uh, I got another one of these nuts just like this one it's fine thread but it is standard I, I don't get that but so I'll put in my toolbox in the boat just in case I lose this one then if I lose one that's in the boat I'll put this prop back on I'll keep that for an emergency backup whatever so yeah I think it's gonna be all right though so there you go trawling motor prop replacement quick fix thanks for watching guys Shea barely met the man legend gone for now we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys and take care